Hi, welcome to my clinic. Since 2005, I have been qualified in traditional Chinese medicine. I qualified in the Irish College of Traditional Chinese Medicine in Dublin. Previous to that, I've been studying traditional Chinese medicine through my Kung Fu teachers, um, which is very common practice um, since uh, martial artists are quite um, well versed in the human body. We learn to massage, we learn to uh, bone setting. So often in a village, the martial arts instructor was also the healer or the doctor. So today I thought I would share a few um, treatments and ointments that I use that are very useful for any Kung Fu school um, should have them and, and um, we use them quite regularly. The first one obviously would be uh, Dip Da Jiao. Dip Da Jiao, um, it's uh, literally fall medicine. Um, every martial arts school will pride themselves um, having the best Dip Da Jiao but, but really most, most Dip Da Jiao's have the, the fundamentally the same um, ingredients. What we do is we apply this to bruises when we get knocks and, and, and strikes or when we're purposefully uh, striking our limbs off um, different material to, uh, to condition them. We rub and massage Dip Da Jiao in. Okay, you can also get Dip Da Jiao in an uh, internal form, but uh, Dip Da Jiao is very, very important. Other ones are maybe less known that I use, um, a must for everybody um, as a first aid kit is Yunin Bayao. Okay. Uh, this comes in a little tub, okay, with two um, with a, a red a red tablet inside. Okay, um, I'm going to open it up. Um, what this is fantastic for is to stop bleeding. Okay, um, so we've had incidents with with bad nosebleeds. Um, if you've been punched in the nose, we've actually had uh, someone's ear cut in half with a sword, um, and we got applied this straight away. Once you apply this straight away, it'll stop the bleeding. Okay, um, if you're in shock, you take the red tablet. I personally have used this. Um, when I was um, in, a, in a street fight um, and uh, we went through a shop window and I severed my um, ankle through glass. So I got home, poured this on, took the red tablet, um, got myself to the hospital. Fantastic. Okay, a really a must for all schools. Then with that, pearl powder. This one's hard to get a hold of. Okay, pearl powder. Um, stop scarring okay so once you've uh, applied a unit bio and it's either been stitched up or it, it's uh, um, it's starting to heal a little bit once you you um you get straight away and you start applying the pearl powder okay um in the case of the, the individual that had their ear cut with the sword there was no scarring okay by using uh, pearl power okay so a, a pearl powder should i say um, another wonderful um jingwang hung Okay, this is wonderful for burns. Okay, um, so if you get uh, if you get real bad burns, uh, you can uh, apply this straight away to the burn. Okay, uh, some of these products, what I'll do is um, on in the comments section, I will leave a link to um, one of my kung fu brothers in England, um, in where he has a shop. He's a a very high level um, Chinese medicine practitioner as well as a kung fu practitioner, and you'll be able to buy some of these. So uh, currently, uh, this clinic, I only work part-time. I used to work full-time. This clinic now is um, in the gym. Uh, downstairs, I have a kung fu room, and, and we have kettlebells and fitness. And I uh, treat also part-time Chinese medicine. Uh, I mainly um, focus on acupuncture. But uh, if anybody's interested in having traditional Chinese medicine treatments, um, you're more than welcome to contact me.